Welcome back to another video. So today, uh, I'm going to kind of be going through this, uh, the Skywars update. As you can tell, the Skywars update uh, has been released an hour and a half ago. I just finished my stream and uh, going through everything, but I'm going to go through everything uh, again. Uh, and there's going to be no cuts or anything in this video, so kind of everything straightforward. Uh, everything in the update itself and some things that weren't actually listed in the post that I didn't see. So, alright, starting off at the top. Hello, we are pleased to announce that for the past months we've been working closely with the HPC and our game designers to bring a much requested update for Skywars. And uh, according to some other players, this update took 500 days to come out. Uh, obviously it wasn't worked on for 500 days, but it's been 500 days since the last update. Also, that was my Discord. <laughs> And I'm going to just quickly DND because, yeah, all right, and here we are. Okay, so players spawn mobs will now teleport within three block radius of players. So basically, Necromancer, <laughs> this is for Necromancer, um, but honestly, you're not going to want a Necromancer anymore because of this new perk. Well, not perk, but like ability. Players will now be able to toggle perks on and off by right clicking in the menu. So to demonstrate that real fast, just go into the shop and uh, here are the kits, I mean the perks right here. Uh, you can go in and as you can see, just right click. I already toggled my Necromancer off. That's the only perk I'm ever going to toggle off. And uh, you just right click it like that and uh, it toggles. And it's really laggy right now since the update just released. So uh, keep that in mind. It won't. Be, it shouldn't be laggy in the next few days. Well, And I'm also, it's like kind of peak time-ish. Uh, but yeah, that's one of the abilities. The minimum amount of blocks spawned in chest in insane mode have been increased from 8 to 16. Uh, right now, as the time that I'm recording this, I think this is bugged and you're still getting 8 at least. Uh, but it should be fixed if you're watching this, but like in a few days. Uh, let's see. The XP progression counter in the shop now shows your total, experienced, uh, its total experience instead of shortened values. So basically that means here it used to say like 4.5k or 4.6k, but it says... 4,590 out of 10,000. Uh, I feel like they should add that to the, this NPC. Like, that's a way better add. But if you want, there you go. It's right there. And uh, let's see. On the next one, the Soul Well category in the shop now mentions that the Corrupted Chance perk and the Head Collections are in that sub-menu. So basically, if you go into your shop and you hover over this, it will it adds a new message. Uh, can... And it says this category contains soul harvesting, soul upgrading, the angel of death, and head collection. The it looks really weird. I'm assuming that's like a little bug right there. But uh, yeah, that's basically explaining that. And chicken eggs will no longer spawn baby chicken spawn impacts. Basically, a few years ago, if you threw an egg at someone, they had a chance to spawn baby chicken. And uh, if you played Skyrim before, you know that. And you know that it's probably uh, made you pretty mad when it blocks your pearls, or if it like it blocks your blocks when you're placing them. Uh, but yeah, those are no longer in the game, so to explain that one. Diamond Piercer Tournament Earned Perk will now play a sound and let you know how... Uh, and let you know it dealt damage in chat. So, uh, this is true. <laughs> I was playing on stream earlier. Maybe I can find the message. It, yeah, here it is. So it says, your Diamond Piercer Perk hit player for 20% extra damage. I personally believe this. it's way too overpowered right now. And that it should either either proc less or do less damage because I'm like four to five hitting like diamond armored people. So uh, yeah, uh, and you can only get that perk by participating in tournaments. The lobby's closed right now, so I really can't. Um, and I believe it, the the perk is a hundred tributes. If I'm not mistaken, it could be 50, 50, 100, something like that. Uh, and you get those by playing in tournaments. You get 100 tributes by just playing. And if you place uh, in like top 5,000 and above, they have different rewards for each category. Then you get more t uh, more tributes based on your position. Okay. The Wall of Death will now play the damage effect upon hurting the player. So I uh, this hasn't really been a problem at all. Like I've never like been in the Wall of Death before. But I'm assuming this is a Mega Skywars thing primarily. I don't really play Mega. But the Wall of Death used to never do damage. And now it does. I haven't tested this myself, so yeah. And let's see, the stats NPC in the lobby now shows mega stats instead of mega doubles. If you want to know where the lobby NPC is, you just spawn in right here and you go to the left, and it's right here with all the stats above it. And uh, yeah, and there it is, mega statistics right there. And 
Next, there's now a win streak counter for each game mode. This is currently broken at the moment, but as you can see, just hover over and it says win streak. Oh wait, I think, oh, they removed it. <laughs> um, yeah, win streaks were broken and it seems that they removed it right now, but it'll probably be added back later. Uh, but it will appear on that message that I just showed you on that item. Uh, playing with a random kit will award an extra 100 coins upon winning a game. That's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, every time you go you spawn in a game and you get kits, you can choose the random kit, which is obviously not here because uh, there's really, you know, you can't really change anything about that. Uh, let's see. In new prestige display after level 100, your Skyward's level and prestige icon will be bolded. So level 100 is the next quote-unquote prestige. And as you can see, only one player has it. And uh, he's using the level 11 of Angel of Death right now, which is why the prestige icon looks really weird because it's all bolded and stuff. And I don't, I think he's playing right now, so I can't really ask him unless he's in this lobby. Oh, yeah, he is. There you go. Uh, if he talks, then uh, I will show. Let's see if he does for a sec. All right. While he's doing that, I'm just going to look through the next one. All right. Angel's Ascent. They added this very, uh, a uh, good system at least I, I like it so it's basically like a skill tree if you if any of you know what that is so you go to the angel uh, I mean the soul well and you click on this but I'm gonna read it first open the angel descent rewards tree to purchase these rewards you need opals which are obtained by gathering shards from player kills when your soul inventory is too full and you have harvesting season maxed out so this is where the confusion is for like everybody i've seen everybody asking questions about this so how to earn shards you go you press on here you click on this gas tier and you have to make sure this is maxed out and uh once you have this maxed out and you have to you see the soul counter on the sidebar it has to say 250 out of 250 or 250 above out of 250 that's when you start killing players and earning shards uh i was earning shards earlier so i can show you Let's see, did I kill anyone? <laughs> I mean, I hope so, let's see. 15 scars, yeah, there you go, 11 shards. Uh, so this seems to be a range. I don't know what the current range is. I've People have gotten up to 100 shards per kill, I haven't, I've only gotten like up to 20. So it seems to be kind of random right now, so I don't know what the range is. But uh, that's how you earn shards. So that's what you wanted to know, then there you go, you can click off. So. Uh, now to the skill tree. So here you go. Here's it has a shards counter right here. I played for about an hour and a half. Well, I, I probably about an hour, and I gained about like seven, seventeen hundred, eighteen hundred shards. So uh, yeah, it seems to take a little bit, but it's definitely worth it. This is for more end game players. If you guys have everything unlocked, uh, this is this is what you basically you're gonna be working on. So this is like last ditch thing. So if you're a new player to Skywars. This is something that you won't be bothered with for quite a while. Uh, but yeah, you, what, I should have, I did this on stream, but basically all of these are coal and you have to buy your way down. So to get this, you need to buy this and then so on. You have to buy this to get this and then buy this to get this and then buy this to get this. And uh, these were all one opal, but over time it increases as you can see. I'm assuming it's with the coal blocks. Uh, the, the coal blocks, as you can tell, this one unlocks a prestige icon, which is two opals. Or you can go down, but yeah, as you can see, you need this icon to get this. And then you need this to get this, and this to get this, and this, and so on, so on and so forth. There, One thing I'm looking forward to is this right here, flex kill messages. Whew. Um, which basically, it broadcasts your kill count into the chat. That's basically what it does. And there is so much more, like, uh, there's a lot of pages of this, uh, it's really lagging, there you go, well not pages, but like, more rows, and uh, that's basically explained, there's no guide on this yet, because no one's, no one has completed this, and it's gonna take quite a long time before anyone does, I feel like, uh, so, yeah, there you go, uh, there's that, hopefully, if you're still confused, leave some comments, and I will, uh, let you guys know. Uh, but basically, this is what I just explained right here. And then it showed some rewards that you can get, like a cloak in the lobby. And, uh, yeah. 
There you go. All right, new kits added cactus kit, which gives eight cactus, 16 sand, or 16 cactus and 32 sand, depending on your mode. And it gives you leather armor, which I personally don't see this kit being used at all. Uh, the leather armor for these kits are just really bad for insane mode. If they hired the protection by like a lot, I would see maybe, but you don't, no one really needs cactus. Maybe on Martian, you can spam the cactus all over the floor, but that's what I, that's all I see about doing that. And they added Warlock Kit, which is just like Magician in Rank Scours. I don't know uh, what it gives exactly, uh, Magician, but you get two times instant damage pots, weakness pots, poison pot, and golden apples for with this kit for Insane Mode. And Mythic Kits. They added Fishmonger. Every hit gives a 7% chance of spawning a Silverfish to aid you in battle. So this is kind of, it's weirded really, uh, worded really weirdly, just like that sentence I just said. Um, so... This counts if someone hits you, not if you hit another player. So if someone's hitting you, even with like a snowball or something, you have a 7% chance to spawn a silverfish. And again, kind of get, like, I was fighting it, and it seems kind of, it seems really good. Like, really annoying to fight against. So, um, I don't know if this kit's going to be used a lot, but uh, it seems really annoying to fight against. And you can see you get leather armor with prot 3 on it, and 3 silverfish spawn eggs. And Thundermeister, which is my personally my favorite mythic kit so far, uh, like out of all the five kits. Uh, you basically, if you've ever played UHC, you get an Axe of Perun, and uh, it only has, uh, as, as a 10 second cooldown, and it deals 5 HP of true damage. So 5 HP, like total, which is like, uh, what, like 2.5 hearts or something? Or 1.5 hearts, I mean. And, uh, yeah, oh no, maybe, no. It is, I don't know, I don't know, it's like two hearts or something. Um, but, yeah. Uh, and it gets leather armor with prot 3 on it, which I still think should be, like, buffed or something. Also, uh, to note, if you kill some, if you kill a Thundermeister and you pick up the axe, the ability does not work for you, So if you're not the kit. I don't know if that's bugged right now, but that's just the way it's working right now. Uh, as of today, which is an hour after the update. Mega kit, so they added the Enderman kit. Uh, one purple leather chest plate, purple leggings, diamond boots, and corrupted pearl. And new perks. They added barbarian perk. If you've ever played Mega Skywars, this is just like notoriety, but it works for axe, axes, not swords. Uh, which is basically 50% chance to gain one level of sharpness on axe kill. Savior perk uh, was added to normal teams mode. So basically, with the perk slash kit update in 2018 they broke uh savior perk for teams normal which gives you two absorption hearts on kill and they removed that for teams normal and which basically made the game way more difficult because you as a solo player you couldn't just uh you couldn't 1v2 teams anymore because the absorption really helped with it but they removed it in 2018 uh the end of 2018 but they finally re-added it back uh, to explain that and new achievements are complete 250 end game challenges which are like the newer challenges if you're an old <coughs> player oh sorry my dog uh i believe the old uh insane challenges count like like old old where like you spawn albie the dragon the double health one i honestly i don't remember any of the other ones those are the only two i kind of remember at the top of my head um but yeah, those are the ones I'm talking about. Those still count uh, if you had any from back then. Because I have 50 in-game challenges and I've only done like 9 of them. So, of these new challenges. So, uh, yeah. Just get 250, rack up a lot of achievement points right there. Opal, Obsep Opal Obsep Obsession. <laughs> Earn 2 Opals. And I already explained how to get Opals previously. So, uh, yeah, you just got to get 10 for 25 achievement points. And uh, if you want, if you reach Skyward's level 15, which is honestly not that bad at all, uh, you can get a lot of achievement points there too. And uh, achievement points, win a game of Skyward's with 15 or more kills. Uh, begin harvesting shards. Win a game of solo Skyward's having 8 kills at least. Get 5 assists. And complete the Angel's Descent, which is going to take quite a while, I believe. And uh, here's the balances if you want to read those. Uh, Frog, the most notable one is Frog only has one potion now and the, but the duration was buffed to 40 seconds and 
what I didn't see... Oh, also another notable one is Golem. There's no more Golem spawn eggs anymore. The You only get an Iron Chest Plate with Prot 1 and Chain Boots with Prot 3. And a Poppy with Sharpness 1 on it. And uh, another change that's not listed here, I believe, is Enderman. Enderman got uh, nerfed and... Uh, I don't really have to show it, but basically from two pearls, it got reduced to one pearl. Uh, as you can see from kit customizers, you only get one pearl now instead of two. Speaking of last video, oh, well, I guess video before last, I talked about Enderman kit. So that video is kind of useless now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, those are the most notable ones I've seen. Uh, and armor. Actually, no, yeah, armor and knight are really good. Knight in insane mode now gives sharpness too. Iron Sword armor gives a diamond chest plate and leggings, uh, clean iron and clean diamond. And default, you know, change to stone armor. People are upset about this one where they removed the golden boots. Most notable for me, speed two potions were increased from 15 seconds to 30 seconds, which makes uh, soloing teams fun again, I guess. It makes it way easier. Well, not way easier, but easier than it was before. And some bug fixes. The head inventory will now act as a multi-page menu and will display more heads. Right now, for me, this is still broken. So, but, uh, yeah, I, I am assuming they're going to fix this soon. Uh, players will now be able to talk in Mega and Team pre-lobbies, which has been bugged out forever. Uh, Netherlord perk will no longer activate in lab modes. Angel of Death level 12 or level 11 and 12, yeah, were re-added. So that's currently the, um, the update. Uh... I'll kind of, I, I've been recording for quite a long time. I wanted to make this video short enough, but to explain everything. So, uh, yeah. I feel like the most confusing thing about this was opals. And, uh, yeah. I guess I could talk about the cosmetics that they added. So, to kind of push through these, it's really lacking. Uh, kill effects. They added two new kill effects, I believe. The purple tornado, which is what it says, a purple tornado. Which I really love that, by the way. It looks so good. And they added vaporized, which uh, it adds like particles up behind you. That's what I've, all I've seen so far. Uh, they added, I think, yeah, they added a victory dance. Basically, uh, Daredevil just turns into a sheep, as far as I know. That's, you can see it right here. You can see it right here. Uh, it seems like it just turns into Daredevil. Well, it acts like Daredevil. I mean, well, that's the wrong tab. But, uh, yeah, I, th I think that was all they added for that. They added kill messages. They added a socked one for boxing. Shout out to the socked guild. They literally got into the game. Uh, <laughs> they added rainbow, which I love too. And they added flex, which is what I'm personally going to be going for. And let's see. I don't think they added any death cries, but I don't know. Uh, no, they did not. At least that I didn't see. They added the the, the king's projectile trail, which basically shoots out golden helmets if you use it. Uh, it's just literally like a million golden helmets fly out of your rod or bow or whatever. And uh, that's all I noticed from that so far. And. I believe that's currently all that was added in this update. And it was, it was a lot to go over. So, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching, I believe. If I miss anything, I'll update the comments. But, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. And bye.